Mr. Door in Alan Wake 2 is actually known as Martin Hatch in Remedy's Quantum Break, a video game where he is prominently featured as an antagonist. In the game, he is identified as a shifter. Being a shifter means having the ability to manipulate time. It is also established that it's impossible to kill them as long as their other forms survive in different timelines. Unlike other shifters, Dor is eventually able to control his abilities and maintain his physical self in the present. Flash forward to 2019's Control, where Jesse's brother Dylan tells her about having dreams about Mr. Dor, who informs him about the possibility to exist in multiple realities at the same time. Little was known about Dor's past until Alan Wake 2, where he appears inside the dark place while Alan is trying to force his way out of the loop. Dor is upset with Alan for dragging someone he knows into his story. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in. Meanwhile, the other protagonist of the game, Saga Anderson, reconciles with her grandfather, Tor. Your name is Anderson? In 1988, the dark presence from Cauldron Lake threatened the Anderson family. And in order to protect them, Tor and Odin offered Warland Dor, their son-in-law, to the dark place in exchange for their safety. That fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. As a result, Dor is struck by lightning, which turns him into an interdimensional entity. Freya, Thor's daughter and Saga's mom, learns about the exchange and flees Bright Falls. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed.